bring back my bar. Hey everybody, it is Sarah Moore here again with another video. And um, today I am so excited. We are gonna talk about bring back my bar. Bring back my bar from Sensi. it's here. Um, it happens twice a year. And so what Sensi does is they put out a list every six months to consultants, to customers, and you can go online to the website, you go on my website and you see the um, voting window when it's open and you can go in there and you can vote every day and you go back in and you vote for which retired scent bars you want them to bring back temporarily. Okay, so here are the winners for um, spring, summer 2022. I have one of every single one of the winners and there's 25 winners out of the list that they put out every year. So these are the ones voted on by, uh, again, customers and consultants, not just consultants. So if you go on there and you're like, yeah, there was this one that I really liked and here it is, it's on, it's up for voting for bring back my bar and you vote for it every day, it's gonna come back for a month. And then if it's one that you haven't been able to find, you just buy it all up at that time, right? Okay, so bring back my bar. I got one of every one. We're gonna check them out. We're gonna smell them all. I'm gonna, I've got the um, web page open. So we're gonna talk about what it's supposed to sound, smell like or what it's described as by Scentsy. Um, I'm gonna give you my honest opinion. And then I'm going to warm these all month long and then get back to you. These, these will be available for you to purchase June 1st. So depending on when you're seeing this video, start purchasing on June 1st and then like I said I'll do a video a wrap up like uh, see how they smelled after I warmed them see how long they lasted in the house see which ones I liked and didn't like see which ones I was disappointed and pleasantly surprised by in no particular order here we go lemon coconut chiffon I voted for this one I voted for this one every single time I love lemon I love lemon scents and coconut yes it's like lemon and coconut right after it for me. So uh, I voted for this one every chance I got. I used all my votes on it and I was like, oh, please let me get that lemon coconut chiffon. I've never smelled this before. Um, no, you know what? I'm not gonna read the scent description first. I'm gonna tell you what I think and then we'll read the scent description. I don't know, it doesn't matter. I'm not, I'm not a sommelier. I'm not, I don't have the nose for that type of stuff. Okay, here we go. That is a yummy, creamy lemon. That smells like the lemon that's in a lemon custard. That is not the lemon that um, you slice up and you know put in your drinks. That is a very sweet, yummy lemon. It's it's really well balanced by the coconut. I'm so happy I voted this one in. I can't wait to warm this. Okay, let's see what it is supposed to smell or what it's described as. Let's see here. Melt in your mouth lemon custard. Okay, I definitely get the lemon custard with butter cake. All right, so you should be able to smell the cake sprinkled with toasted coconut. I get the toasted coconut, oh, I get the coconut, maybe not so much toasted, but I get the coconut and I definitely get the lemon custard, but that butter cake, oh man, that is nice. I can't wait to warm this one. So excited. Okay, again, reaching into the bag of goodies. That's loud, sorry. Okay, blackberry orange marmalade. Blackberry orange marmalade. I don't know how you do blackberries and orange, but there it is, okay? So where's the blackberry orange marmalade? There you are. All right, let's smell this one. Mm, I'm not getting much. I'm getting sweet and berry, but I mean, who knows? Oh, orange, yeah, definitely citrus. Mmm, it smells good. I just don't get anything definitive from it. It smells really good. So we'll see how this one's gonna turn out. Um, should be self-explanatory, yeah? 
orange marmalade and blackberry jam with sugar crystals. So lots of sweetness going on there. Okay. Inner peace. I have heard good things about this. And let's check it out. Okay, inner peace. Mm. Definitely fresh and clean scent, but it smells like an elevated version of ivory soap. Smells like good old ivory soap. I don't know. I don't know. I don't hate it. Um, but I just don't know what to think about it yet. I can't talk it up. It's, it smells like ivory soap to me. All right. Earthy wood notes with the unmistakable scent of lemon groves and rejuvenating cypress. So that's the clean scent, but I don't get the woody notes from it. Ah, it smells like soap. Like a bar of soap, literally. Okay, next. Cotton candy cookie. Okay, cotton candy cookie. Let's try it. Let's see here. The hell? It smells like cookies and berries. Cookies and bit like a berry compote on the cookie. Um, or cookies and jelly or jam. I don't know that I get cotton candy. It's really sweet. But it doesn't smell like the cotton candy wax bar. I definitely smell cookie though. Huh. Okay, that's weird. That is weird. It's a good weird. I'm liking it. Smells like a trip to the county fair. Okay. Cotton candy and cookies, gooey treats topped with sugared raspberries begged to be tasted. Yeah, I was getting berries. And, <clears throat> excuse me, my throat's getting dry. I'm getting berries. I'm getting like all kinds of sweet yumminess. Um, that's going to be interesting. I can't wait to try that. That's like a pretty lavender color too. I like it. Um, I don't know. We'll find out, yeah? Because I'm going to warm all these. Blonde, wood, and moonflower. I was looking forward to this one. I sometimes lean towards these um, scents. So let's check it out. <clears throat> mm, it's really strong. I don't know what a moonflower is or what it's supposed to smell like, but it's floral and it's perfumey, not too floral, but it smells like a nice perfume. Okay, that's weird. That's good. I love smelling new scents. I just can't wrap my head around it though. This is really cool. I love it. Pale, warm wood and amber envelop a demure moonflower. moonflower delicate white roses and upturned lilies in a modern magical fragrance. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I like it. I just, I'm tripping on this one. Berry of Paradise. Okay. Berry of Paradise. Let's check it out. Check it out. Okay. Ooh, this smells like something familiar. Not like sensi familiar. Oh, I love this. It's like a creamy tropical fruit smoothie. Yes, that's what it smells like to me. Scrumptious sugared strawberry, bird of paradise, and vanilla bean. Sounds legit. Okay, Bird of Paradise, that's giving me that tropical vibe. The sugared strawberry, the vanilla bean, that's where I'm getting like 
like smoothier shake kind of a scent from that. Oh, that's really nice. Okay, Summer Rain. So many people have talked about this. I know I've heard um, other consultants talking about this and they've hyped it up. I don't know, we will see. Summer Rain, let's see, let's check it out. Let me find it. Oh, I can smell this as soon as I popped open the clamshell. Okay. I was expecting it to smell like laundry, but it doesn't. Am I getting summer rain? I don't know. I don't know if I'm getting summer rain, but I'm getting really fresh and clean. Um, and it's nice. It's not too, um, it's not. It's not laundry, it smells nice. Dew sprinkled cyclamen, which is a floral, fresh botanicals, and a pinch of black lava salt conjure the earthy sweet scent of a passing summer storm. Mm, that sounds really nice. This is nice. I can see why so many people like it. I'm definitely gonna have to warm this and see if I like it. Okay, I like it cold, We'll find out how, how it, you know, how it turns out. Okay, we gotta get through these fast. This can be a long video. I don't want it to be a long video. Simply Irresistible. Simply Irresistible. That's a fresh, green, fragrant, outdoor, Mmm, I love that. It's not fresh cut grass, you know, that scent, but oh, that's nice. I like that. So light. Um, lavender with a strong woody background of amber, moss, and musk. I like amber. That's probably why I'm liking this so much. Simply irresistible. I like amber. Uh, let me think here. What else? Is there anything else that smells like this one? I'm not sure. I'm, like I said, I'm not an expert. Like I don't just immediately smell something and like, oh, that has this and that and this in it. I like that. Ooh, I can't wait to warm that. Caramel Vanilla Delight or Caramel, depending on how you say it, right? I say Caramel. Caramel Vanilla Delight. Let's get into it. This smells like maybe some other scents that Scentsy has in the bakery section. Especially in the fall catalog. Um, it's definitely caramel and vanilla. But it doesn't stand out as anything too... As anything really, really different than what Sensi already has out there. I don't know. I like it. It smells really great. The vanilla is amazing. And the caramel is really nice. But I think Sensi has like that sea salt vanilla, vanilla one or sea salt caramel. So that's nice. Vanilla ice cream, liquid caramel, and a splash of white rum. Oh, hello. I don't know that I get... I get... I don't know. I'm gonna have, again. I'm gonna have to warm it. I'm gonna have to warm it. I love it, but it doesn't smell um, distinctive. It doesn't smell distinctive. All right, next, French toast. Okay. I was looking forward to this, but I'm skeptical. I'm skeptical. Let's do it. French toast. And I love French toast. French toast is my favorite breakfast food. Breakfast food, I order it all the time. Um, oh, I just opened this up and I can already smell it. Mm. It does smell like French toast. But there's, the cinnamon is not, no. 
It doesn't smell like bakery cinnamon. It smells like there's too much cinnamon and it smells like the red hot cinnamon, which I don't like. No, nope, not a fan. A perfect light slice of bread dunked in golden egg batter, okay, dusted with powdered sugar and finished with a swirl of sweet maple syrup. It doesn't even mention cinnamon and I'm getting, it smells like Red Hots. Mm, I'm gonna warm it. I'm gonna warm it. But I'm not impressed right now, but I'm gonna warm it. All right, we shall see. Moving on, bamboo yuzu. <clears throat> Bamboo yuzu, there you are. All right, so this should be a nice fragrant green scent. Not just cause it's green, but oh. Yeah, that's nice. Bamboo and clean. That's pretty. That's really pretty. I like that. Mm-hmm. I like that. That that's a that's a nice clean scent. Imagine a Japanese garden as you breathe in dewy bamboo, tranquil lotus flower, and fresh yuzu with hints of sage. I don't usually like sage for home fragrance, but this smells really nice. Maybe it's the lotus flower. Oh, that's nice. I like this. Um. That's a yes. Okay. Love and happiness. Love and happiness. Let me see here. Where are you at? Alphabetical order, of course. Love and happiness. Hmm. This reminds me of Cozy cardigan. Yeah, it reminds me of cozy cardigan already. Like that's already in my um, favorites in my Scentsy Club order. That was from um, this past fall winter catalog. It doesn't smell distinctive, um, in my opinion. It smells really good because I love cozy cardigan. Um, but it smells like cozy cardigan so you know we'll see okay glazed chestnut vanilla and sugar cane define temptation i don't i don't know what i'm smelling but it just reminds me of cozy cardigan it smells yummy because i know how much i love that scent this is nice i um, I don't know what to say. It's just reminding me of Cozy Cardigan. So much so. Like, I could swear that's what I'm smelling here. All right. That's a yes, because I love Cozy Cardigan. <clears throat> Enchanted Mist. Enchanted Mist. There you are. Hmm. Mm. I don't know what I'm smelling. It smells good. I don't know what I'm smelling. Oh, that's weird. the heck is that oh that's what it is oh, I feel like I have something in my eye a romantic blend of juicy apples enchant enhanced and sweetened by rose petals and rich jasmine that's why it smells so weird because there's fruit there's floral together in one 
that's, I was like, why am I smelling, why am I smelling Granny Smith apples or Gala apples? But it's florally and that is so cool. I like that. I like that. I'm just tripping. I'm, I like it. Okay. Forever yours. Forever yours. Let's check it out. Oh, it's a really nice floral. I like it. Mm, that's going to be nice. I don't know how long it's going to last, but I hope it lasts. Mmm, I like that. Sweet, creamy lemon and enchanting jasmine. Again, another mix of fruit and floral together that's really nice and throwing me off and I don't know what to make of it. That is nice. <clears throat> Zeppelin, okay. I didn't vote for this one, but I was looking forward to it when I saw that it won because it's supposed to be more of a masculine scent. Zeppelin. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I like that. Kind of like, mm, that is a nice masculine scent. Okay, citrus, sage, sandalwood, and vetiver. I love vetiver, I love sandalwood. The citrus and the sage kind of mm, sweeten it up a little bit. I like that, that's gonna be, that's a bedroom scent. I don't know if that makes sense to you. It makes sense to me in my head. Okay, pineapple, coconut, vanilla. I. Uh, wanting to try this one. I'm happy it won. Pineapple, coconut, vanilla, Scentsy Bar. Here we go. Should smell like pineapples, coconuts, and vanilla, right? Tough. Mm, I'm not getting a lot of pineapple. I'm getting a little bit of coconut. The vanilla is there. Oh, so it's coconut, pineapple, and blue fig. That's, okay, that's maybe what I'm, what's throwing me off. Because there's that sweetness from the pineapple, and figs are sweet too, but there's the coconut. It's weird. smells good it's just I don't know how to I don't know how to approach that that smells really good I like it I'm so, okay next love you very much love you very much I'm sensing a theme here with a lot of these that one like love you very much love and happiness forever yours they're kind of similar I mean like not in scent well maybe kind of in scent profile too so love you very much here we go Berries and floral. Berries and floral. Okay, I like it. I like it. Bursting red berries, white peach, tart cranberry, and a splash of vanilla. No floral? How is there no, fl no floral scent in here? It smells like, it smells floral. There's all the fruits. That is so weird. I don't know if the cranberries, the strong, I don't know what I'm smelling more, the berries, the cranberries, the peaches, it kind of all um, mixes together, but it's really good. I don't get the vanilla, I get a floral scent, a light floral scent. Alrighty, 
speaking of floral, flower child. Flower child, where are you at? Flower child. Okay. Mm. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, I like that. Sweet red berries layered over wild gardenia and sandalwood. Yeah, I like sandalwood. Again, flowers, berries, but this one has the sandalwood aspect to it. That kind of makes it a little more sophisticated. Flower child. I like that. Okay. Um, Cutie pie cupcake has been just on everybody's um, wish list for ever. Cutie pie cupcake. Now, there was one that came out that kind of smells like this. So, I don't know. I might have to do a side-by-side. -side. We'll see because there is a cupcake that's currently available that smells so, so similar to this. Oh my God. Oh, that smells so good. Oh my God. Winter chicken dinner right here. It smells like an orange cake. Oh my gosh, I love that. Sweet clementine and yellow cake batter with vanilla and sugary icing. It smells like an orange cake. Oh my gosh, I love that. That's good. That's really, really good. Very peri pumpkin, very peri pumpkin. All right, I don't know how we're gonna top that cupcake, but let's see what what we got very peri pumpkin so i'm guessing it's going to be a fall scent with the pumpkins and then the pears no mm -mm. Mm -mm. the pear smells nice but it smells like raw pumpkin not cooked pumpkin the hell sweet nashi pear freshly picked pumpkin tart green apple and toasted spices are carried on a breeze of crisp autumn air huh i'm not getting i'm not getting the spice that i would expect i'm getting like when you're carving a pumpkin that scent that's, that's weird. Okay. Ooh, yes. Ooh. All right, this had better, this had better be good. I'm just saying. Blueberry pancakes. Come on, really, blueberry pancakes. If this isn't perfect, I'm gonna write. The blueberry is so tart. I don't know about blueberry pancakes, blueberry muffins, the difference, but I get the bakery. I get the tartness of the blueberry. Oh, I like it. I like that. It's not very pancake scent to me, but definitely lots of blueberry. Blueberry and butter layered with light maple make the mood it's super blueberry forward like i'm not getting anything else but blueberry that's that's a lot of blueberry scent right there okay <clears throat> another one that i'm skeptical about i'm gonna have to warm this one this is gonna be cool this is gonna be fun i i, I don't know what to say i don't know look root beer float Root beer float, people. Come on. Let's see. 
Now I am a root beer float fan. So let's see, it better not be that Barks root beer either. That, oh, I want some a w up in here. Mm. Oh yeah, that's yummy. That's yummy. I, where would I warm this though? It smells like a root beer float. I don't know, maybe the kids room? The kids rooms? I don't know that I want the living room to smell like root beer float. Not the bedrooms or the bathrooms. I don't, that's cool. That's cool. Okay. That smells like root beer float. Next up, Buckleberry. This is another one that has been talked up. Let's check it out. We're almost done, I promise. Long video, sorry. But there's 25 six cents here 25 okay buckleberry what the heck is that supposed to smell like it's really strong very berry what the heck that's so weird a bite of summer's bounty, bursting fresh berries atop a buttery blanket of crumbly coffee cake. Oh. I'm getting berries, but I'm not getting like bakery that goes with it. Okay, well, hey. My only sunshine. Let's hurry up and do this because my computer is dying. Where are you at, my only sunshine? Second to last one, promise. Oh, that's so nice. I like that. I like that. I don't know what I'm smelling, but I love it. It smells really, really good. Start your day with a smile as you experience golden tuberose. That's what it is that I like. Jasmine balanced by sandalwood, vanilla, and glowing amber. Yep, all the scents that I love. All the scents that I love in like, um, in perfumes. Amber, sandalwood, tuberose. Oh my gosh. Yep, winner. Got it. Done. Coconut vanilla orchid. Coconut, vanilla, and orchid, right? That's what it should smell like. Where are you at? All right. Here we go. Last one. Mm, there's the coconut, vanilla. I don't know what orchids smell like. That's really nice. That's really nice. Yeah, it's just a little flowery, floral the flowery it's a little flowery but the coconut is really really nice and the vanilla scent so it's a luring orange zest what the hell coconut milk and silky vanilla orchid mm. i like that it doesn't smell very strong i hope when i warm these that they throw some scent because they smell really nice. Oh, the sun's coming in right there. They smell really nice. So I hope when I warm these, and I will get back to you on that, um, that they come through. So it looks like about 50-50 right now as far as the ones that I think are gonna be winners, smelling them while they're cold, and the ones that I'm just not so sure about yet. It's about 50-50 out of the 25. I will have to warm these. I'm gonna have to warm them very, very quick. I'm gonna give them a day or two in all of the different warmers. I'll do one cube, I'll see what they give off, I'll see how long they last, and then switch to the next one and switch to the next one so that I can get back to you as soon as possible. I have so many scents to warm right now, um, and then reviews to get back, back to you on. Um, 
but I will do that as soon as possible. Thank you everybody for um, watching this really long video and thank you for checking out my channel. Um, I would love it if you would subscribe, if you would share, if you would click the notification bell. Um, thanks a bunch for being here. Appreciate it. See you all soon.